Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Making Moves. I'm here today with my pride and joy. <laughs> No, my friend, Lauren Geraldo. Hi, everyone. Very excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited to have you because I've been trying to forever. Yeah. I just feel like whenever you come to L.A., I never know and we can never plan it. She's booked booked and busy. I also only come to L.A. for like four days. Usually. Yeah. And this time I stay for like two weeks. It's been fun. And mm-hmm. I'm like, let's do it all. Let's do all the things. It's so fun. Mm-hmm. I love having you here. This is the second time I've seen you this trip. Yes. We had dinner the other night, y'all. And it was a lit. Well, it was me, so fun. maybe. Not you because you. No, I had a blast. Okay. No, I mean like I oh, got you drunk. you lit lit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was fun though. I had Diet Coke. <laughs> anyway, um, Lauren, how have you been? obviously you have a new rock on your finger let's address the elephant in the room you're engaged i'm engaged it's good i feel good about it like in my head you feel like older now i feel older now you do okay which is like not a slay that's like instantly what i felt i wasn't expecting to feel that and now i'm like why yeah i think though like you are the type of girly that's gonna rock being your age because you're still so young like with the diamond like that's hot yeah, that's what everyone wants. It's giving I feel. like Christian, like from it's giving a small Utah hometown. little. Yeah, no, it is, but like whatever. But you're like the like hot baddie Utah. Yeah, 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 but like not the ones that like have you know like whatever the swingers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, so what's it like being an engaged woman now? Um, it feels good. It's definitely like it's different vibe like with your man because it's like more thick slab because it's like well we both know that we're like down for like the long commitment not that we didn't know before but it's more like Mm -hmm. official now so it's good in that regard um has anything changed or you're just like it's a people are talking about it yeah it feels different okay it does feel different in what way grown and it feels more serious it actually does Mm -hmm. but it feels good Mm -hmm. like it's a good you guys are such a great couple. Like, I love y'all. <laughs> Henny's obsessed with you. No, I'm obsessed with Henny. Like, he literally is like, I want to hang with my girl TK. Like, he said that, like, three times before he saw you at dinner the other night. Like, I'm dead. Fully. And I'm like, okay, I'm glad you guys had fun. Well, Henny and I first bonded on a commercial flight to Anguilla. While we were on a private jet. Mm-hmm. That was weird. This brand, like, fully brought us to Anguilla on a brand ship it's so funny because i just we were talking about the brand ship on alicia's oh, podcast really? yes i know i love it and while they flew us in a real private, met you. yeah they flew us in a private jet and they fl- flew the the plusers the plus ones <laughs> in commercial slash a boat ride <laughs> oh it was multiple boat rides really yeah i think it was like two whoa yeah and you were like holding your luggages right uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing is like it was i was so down for it because i didn't know any different uh-huh. like i was like this is fucking fabulous. I'm going to Anguilla. You know what I mean? But now looking back, getting my own like deals and stuff, like if they made my plus one do that, I would be like, this is so weird. Yeah. You know? But it's not like anybody like didn't say yes to it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, this is weird, it. but let's go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I, that's where I met Henny. And I remember thinking like, oh, who's this guy? Like, he's so nice. And I remember I you were, um, you guys were all waiting for us and we like were all coming later because we traveled commercial and on, on a direct like private flight. And we get there and I like met you and I was like, oh, is this your friend? And you were like, bitch, this is my boyfriend. <laughs> I was like, right. <laughs> totally. And I was like, oh, I love them. It was so fun. It was good. It was good. That was a fun situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So do you have any like wedding plans yet? No, I I want to like chill for one second and then start getting into planning because I'm. it's not like he proposed and I'm like, okay, let's go to the drawing board. Yeah. Like I want to ki- chill for like a month and a half, enjoy this feeling and then worry about about stressful things Mm -hmm. yeah and i know you said you're not going to really like document you you probably will for yourself but like make it your brand on youtube and whatever oh that's just because it annoys me personally okay like i know tina shade but like i feel like when some like i don't know i follow some people and like everything is about the wedding and the wedding's in a year yeah and i'm like oh i'm just like mortified i don't i just can't let that be me and i know once i start getting excited i'll like share whatever but i don't because if you're not engaged it's like a lot to see you know what i mean yeah that is true you know like you know when you follow someone and you like love them and you love like let's say their fashion their personality whatever and then everything for a year is my bridesmaid dresses my bachelorette Mm -hmm. my this it's like intense Mm -hmm. like if that's not relatable to you true i do like it when they make it like less wedding-y and just more party they're like this is how like tips for me planning 
whatever which i feel like your wedding will be a party yeah it's no, gonna be lit you're gonna get you're gonna have fun i will have a blast <laughs> i just don't want like a stale like vanilla situation where it's like wrapped up at 11 p.m and the the song track is like sounds like a bar mitzvah and it's ymca like, yes it's like no we have <laughs> to have mitzvah. like flavor mm-hmm. and like fun do you think you'll do an after party like after the wedding I mean the recept or the whatever or the it's reception. called after. It's just I want mine to go to like to go four a.m. I love that. Yeah, like a rager. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I love that so much, and I so see that for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, enough with the wedding talk. Um, even though I'm very excited about it, <laughs> Lauren, can you explain to the viewers for some reason if someone doesn't know who you are, like what what would you call yourself? Like, are you a YouTuber? Are you and you're an influencer. You're, you're a businesswoman. I don't know what I would call myself. I don't really have to ever call myself anything. Mm -hmm. Because when people ask, I just make up some other thing anyways. Really? Yeah. (laughs) I'm like, oh, I go to ASU. (laughs) I don't know. I don't Like, I'm engaged. I go to ASU. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) What do you do? I'm engaged. I'm engaged. (laughs) I'm engaged, love. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? No, I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I feel like you do many things. Okay. Yeah. But is you, would you say YouTube's your main thing? Um, it definitely takes the most amount of my time. I mean, you make videos, so you know that mm-hmm. YouTube is very time consuming. Well, actually, no. Maybe your podcast takes more of your time. What takes more of your time? YouTube. Really? Mm-hmm. So you just hop in the stew, have a little combo, dip out, and you're done. Well, <laughs> a little more than that. But yeah, I, I would say I'm just more hands-on with my YouTube channel. Not that I'm not hands-on with this because like making the outlines and researching my guests, like that takes up a lot of my time. But the thing is, is like that's super enjoyable for me because like I'm already a fan of the guests. So it's like I already know a lot of facts. I, I already keep up with them usually. So listening to interviews I otherwise maybe wouldn't is is kind of fun research. Whereas like with my channel, I'm very like I'm a little bit more strategic, I would say. Yeah, because it's stuff. all about you rather than yeah. a podcast. It's like both. even I'm thinking about like the title and thumbnail. Not that I don't for this either. It's just like I don't know. This is like more fun like it's just a different side of me i don't know i was hanging out with this girl she's my friend because she's like a sibling of one of my other friends and she's like 14 Mm -hmm. and she was telling me that nobody watches youtube her age really and i was like shook i literally made like five tiktoks in the span of like three days after she told me that shit i was like no don't tell me this she's like yeah who watches youtube blah 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 blah. that's crazy and she's like cool in her school (laughs) i'm like oh my god is that like a thing so i talked to Henny about it i'm like do you think youtube's like like, you know, you know, and he was like, no, I think it's all like waves. Like everybody's just in like a short form wave right now. And I, then they're going to create. Agree, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Even like with like shorts and reels and stuff, it's like it's not picking up the way like TikTok is a unicorn, I feel like. Mm-hmm. And it's like nothing hits no short form content. I'm sorry. Hits like TikTok does. Yeah. Right. Don't yeah. you feel? Yeah, and then you have, like, Be Real, which mm-hmm. I thought was fun at first. Do you I, not like it? No! Really? We all, you know it, we all got the notification for our Be Reels the night we all went to dinner. Yeah. And we all saved it for the dinner. Yeah, that's true. It's like, it's, I don't know, I feel like it's this, like, fake Be Real, Be Fake. It's, like, worse. Because at least everybody knows Instagram's fake, but, like, come on, posted eight hours late, and it's, like, so. Yeah. I don't know, I still like Be Real, but also, I, like, had it. Not to be that girl that I'm like, I had it first. <laughs> but I had it in like May when my it was just my friends, no influencers were on it. Mm. And like, it was super fun. I, I don't know, because all my hometown friends are on it. Like, they have normal jobs. It's fun to see what they're doing. Okay. Like, because I already know what my influencer friends are doing because they're posting about it on their story. Uh-huh. Whereas like my normal friends don't post on their story. Oh, that makes so, sense. So like, it's really fun because I get to see what they're doing. Yeah, because you wouldn't have seen it otherwise because they're not documenting every fart. Yes, and yeah. the, exactly, or every burp. Yeah. And then also, like, I am posting so many stories so they know what's up with me, but, like, it's fun seeing, like, them commenting or re- reacting to my shit because they don't really do that on my, like, TikTok or YouTube. Yeah, that makes sense. Right? Yeah. So, I don't know. I like that that aspect of it. I guess the being real part, I definitely don't always listen to. <laughs> I Have like you seen the tweet hours. that's like, I don't want to be real, I want to be railed. Yeah, I don't want to be railed. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's yeah. so good. Um, yeah, but so you don't like it. I do. I just think it's like, 
I don't think it's doing what it's trying to do. Ooh, I guess I don't know. Well, TikTok just came out with a thing and it replaced the your friends tab and apparently it's called now. And it's like same thing as be real. Oh, you have once a day to post it? Or something like that. It's like be now post, whatever. It's like instant something. Okay. I saw a tweet they about it. They all just like are so they all copy paste these apps. They mm-hmm. all do the same things, but mm-hmm. like go off. But to me, you like... Uh, I, I'm not just saying this, but like Deadass, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. Like Yay. you are a fabulous YouTuber, Thank Lauren. Thank you. I, you literally, guys, she like sent me like a bunch of messages the other day and was like hyping me up, like hyping me up. And I was like, uh, first of all, at least life for that because like that made me feel great. Um, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like people don't take the time to like tell each other like I love your content. I- <laughs> And that's like, please, just if you're going to compliment anything, compliment my content. No, <laughs> I agree. I also like I feel like other creators like it. It means more when like someone who's in my industry that gets it is like, I fucking watch your shit. I'm like, no way. Really? Like, yeah, that's crazy. Because I know like who similar I watch. content, too, because mm-hmm. it's like I feel like those are the people that are the shyest to compliment someone mm-hmm. else because it's similar vibe. Yes. So it's like you don't want to. I don't know. I feel like. Overstep or whatever. Yeah, I feel like it's really easy to compliment people's content when it's a polar opposite. Mm -hmm. Like if I wanted to like reach out to let's say Brittany Broski and be like, I love your videos. Yeah, that would make you know. I feel like that's easier to do, but I feel like when somebody that makes similar shit is like, I like it. It's more of a compliment because you're like, oh my god. Yeah, I love yours too. (laughs) (laughs) I know. I feel like I was just telling you. I was like, I don't know something about the way it's like you're you march to the beat of your own drum. Yeah. Which I feel like is hard to do because it's easy to like fall into trends and stuff. And like the past couple of months, I've been really struggling. I don't know, being being confident in my own original ideas and like moving forward with that. You're so good at it. I feel like I just do vlogs and just come up with random names for them. <laughs> but like, I don't know, the way you package it is really good. Thank you. So yeah, me and Henny do a lot of we, we in the booth. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Really play like, do you mind sharing a little bit about your strategy when it comes to YouTube? Like, are you the type of person that comes up with a thumbnail and title beforehand you vlog? Or do you just vlog whatever, figure it out later? I vlog whatever and I figure it out later, which like sometimes bites me in the ass because then you don't get a good thumbnail in the moment. Mm-hmm. And then you have to like me. take one, which is like not mm-hmm. the move. But sometimes it's hard to like pre yeah. think what you want to film. Unless it's super, super conceptual, then mm-hmm. that's easier. Like, I feel like um, like a main channel video. Uh, yeah, I mean, I only have one, mm-hmm. but I feel like when you're like, okay, I'm gonna do a complete transformation, glow up. Blah, mm-hmm. blah, it's like very YouTube-y and it's like easier to accomplish because it's very like, okay, first thing, second thing, third thing, fourth thing, mm-hmm. which makes it easier to package it. But when you're filming like a regular ass vlog, that's where you can get like creative with how you're gonna sell mm-hmm. it essentially. But that, that's how I prefer to do it because it feels more like I whatever happened to happen, mm-hmm. you know? So are you, while you're filming, if you're like, oh, this kind of looks good while I'm filming, you'll, will you pose for a thumbnail no, then? Oh, I should. Oh, you just, like, screenshot? Yeah. Almost always? I mean, yeah. That's I'm, crazy. Your thumbnails are great. I'm into action shots. Yeah. So you got to get it. Well, Me too. Going, you know what I mean? Because I, I don't know. I feel like when it's very, like, yeah, no like, one. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're coming up with, like, a title and stuff, what's your, like, game plan there? Where's your head at? Um, eight words for whatever reason does really well for me. Whoa! I just found that out. Wait, how? How? Uh, my YouTube partner told me. Or yeah. wow, I've never thought about that. And there's like a certain amount of characters that my I think mine's like forty two or something. So that at least like honestly, just having some things that like are analytic based makes it easier when you're literally pulling a title out of your ass. Uh huh. It's like something at least like some parameters. It's like okay, well if we make it three words, then it's less vague. Yeah. So like mentally you can like, but you should find out what. That's yours. crazy. So it'd be like I can't believe we <laughs> did this yesterday. Is and <laughs> and <laughs> yes. Okay, that's crazy. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's like a thing. So it helps me because um, I don't know. It just gives me some type of parameters. And uh-huh. I'm like, okay, whatever. Blah. Mm-hmm. And then recently, I've been trying to make it a more alluding, whatever, like less exactly what I'm doing and more mm-hmm. like, blah. like I can't believe this happened when yeah, we. Yeah, I get. Uh, no, I like when I just posted a get ready with me the other day and I was going to be like, get ready with me for a date or like something lame. And I was like, I need an ex- the title that we went with was I needed an excuse to look hot today. Ooh. And then the title, like the thumbnail was like, get ready with me. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you. I feel like what does well for girls is when you're like 
too cool. But like, it's very calculated. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think it's like the the casual like. You know who's really good at it is Hannah Maloche. Yes, she like, like is that. Yes, she. She's. We're trying to be that. Yeah, <laughs> we should get her in here. She's just naturally that. <laughs> like if she, let's say, she vlogged this day and she like came on your podcast, she'd be like, "Someone put a mic in front of me." Lol. Why? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the title of her video. She'd be like, LOL, slay. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like crazy. She's, yeah, yeah I slayed today on my hot girl walk. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Like, it'd be like that. <laughs> it's the <like laughs> cadence of your laugh. It's, it's so like fun. that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like enticing. It's, it's like, like effortless ooh. look. It's like, oh, she doesn't really, care. Yes. Five million views. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Love okay. that for her. Um, and then you and Henny, do you, like, what does he do to help you? He is the mind of the operation half the time. He's so good. Like, he'll put together the thumbnails. He'll come up with the titles. Oh, so he will make the thumbnails. Yeah, he does make the thumbnails. Shut up. I didn't know that. Yeah. For some reason, I thought he edited and then you did thumbnails. No, I don't do thumbnails. But, like, I sit next to him while he does thumbnails. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how to use Photoshop. Which is surprising if you've seen my Instagram. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Um, (laughs) But, yeah, I don't know how to do, like, that. But he does it and he slays it. And we'll do, like, we'll build out, like, three different options. And we'll just like see. I wish YouTube had A to B testing. They don't. Yes, that would be crazy. A to B testing is when you can like upload the same video with two different thumbnails and then the algorithm will tell you both and then say this one's doing better. And then you could like make that the main one. Mm -hmm. That would be good. Have you ever changed a thumbnail once you upload? Yeah, sometimes I find it helps and sometimes I find it does nothing and buries the video more. (laughs) Yeah. You know know what I mean? So that's why it's like, do you change it often? No, the only time I've changed thumbnails is when I was in a rush to get something up and I just like threw something together and then I was like, I know this could be better. And then later down the road, I'll change it. And it's not like I ever saw like an insane spike, but I think it might have, if someone might have missed that video to begin with, they were like, wait, I didn't see this. I think it's kind of one of those things. Or if someone was like binging my videos and like was trying to look for something it might stand out a little more than the original when you scroll through your youtube videos do you like care about your thumbnails like as if it was a feed a little bit or no that's so funny um i know a lot of people do i used to not give an actual fork at all now it's not that i care about the feed but i do like the idea of being like tk does this with her thumbnails stylized yeah yeah like oh this is like that's very hurt like like Lately, I'll be posing slightly in the middle and have the text around my head. Uh-huh. And like, I like that consistency only for me creating. I'm like, okay, figure out how to put text around the head. Got it. Because that's like, it's like a formula for me. Whereas like when I'm like too creatively free, it's like hard for me to make decisions. Yeah. So I kind of made that boundary currently, but I don't care about the actual aesthetic of the feet of thumbnails. I know a lot of people do. Do you? Mm. I mean, sometimes I won't, I'll let it go or let it, whatever uh-huh. for a little and then I'll look at it and be like, ew. Yeah. And then maybe sometimes I'll change like just some that looks sloppy, I guess. Mm-hmm. But it's, it doesn't even matter. You no know one what cares. Thumbnail lives rent free in my head of yours. What? The one <laughs> in New York where you're like, <laughs> I think it's like a tour of your apartment or something. You're outside and you're like, is it where I'm like, yeah, I love that thumbnail. My sister, literally, she's such a trooper. She killed it so much on that. She was such a trooper. That's why I'm taking her to Paris, literally. Because she like, <laughs> literally on that trip it was some trip i don't even know what it was and i really needed a thumbnail and me and henny had already tried and we were fighting like we were texting back and forth like oh i told you we should have taken it here but we're like fighting bad and the video was good and we didn't want the thumbnail to thwart it my sister and i literally went in like three ubers took a million tried a million Stop. things so this is a completely different day like days later and she's like i just want to make sure you get it like i'm and it was like one of her only days that she had in new york on the trip oh, and she her. made sure that we got that fucking thumbnail no but it makes a difference it does it, it actually does. does and i'm glad you appreciate it because i'm like yeah bitch i took three ubers no, taxis, i had these planes <laughs> one day i was like feeling uninspired and i was like okay i need to look at like people see what like inspires me or what I was just sometimes I like to do I call it research and I'm like looking at people and I'm like what stands out to me like what makes me want to click and that one I like screenshotted it I was like the blueprint (laughs) Wait, we should make thumbnail mood boards yes why don't we do that because I have my go-to people that I look up if I'm like really stuck in a rut for a thumbnail but we should make mood boards I keep updating you and because especially there's like trends remember when like the iPad text like the yeah curse it was was in uh, who started that that was the fashion girly that lived in New York. Oh, best dressed. Yes. Yeah. That was her. Uh-huh. And she and doesn't Claudia do that like in her videos too? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, Claudia's I so love good girls at it. like that. Uh-huh. They're so perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Like, she's doodle. so good at it. Yeah. I don't like, sit there and like doodle little hearts. Like I wish <laughs> I did. 
<laughs> but <I don't. laughs> um, yeah, I know. I used to have a group chat, and it, it was like a thumbnail group chat. So people, anytime pe- people were making one, they would just send it and be like, "Is this good?" or like, "What should I change?" And people would be like, "Fix this," or like, "Whatever." But that would be cool to do a mood board. Yeah, maybe we should do that. We should do. A we start the next trend. Mood board. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, that's hilarious. This episode of Making Moves is sponsored by Wireframe, an original podcast from Adobe. This season of Wireframe is geared towards small business owners who handle all the branding, content design, and social on their own for their business. Each episode features one small business owner. We pair them with a mentor who has built their own successful brand and then a designer to help them execute a plan to solve their problem. Mentors this season include Chris Dew, Courtney Quinn, aka Color Me Courtney, love her by the way, Phil Wing of Wong Fu, Hilton Carter, Ellen Marie Bennett, and Deja Fox. Designers include Shessa Garbert, Elaine Lopez, Brandon Gross, and Kyle Webster. This season features episodes like a realtor learning how to make engaging educational content for home buyers on Instagram and TikTok. A coffee startup learning how to share their founder story and add more personality to their content. And a content creator learning how to use color on his website to tell his story and move merchandise. Y'all know I'm a big fan of providing value or inspiration or some type of educational thing on my podcast and all my social media platforms. So I've been really interested in this podcast in particular because I feel like you learn so much by watching others learn so much. I feel like my TikTok for you page has been filled with different types of career paths lately, like realtors, doctors doctors, etc. So I love learning about other career paths through their content and this podcast gives me just that. I've been really interested in investing lately and real estate has been on my mind. So the realtor learning how to make educational content for home buyers on Instagram and TikTok has been one of my favorite episodes so far. If you guys are interested in checking out this podcast, I definitely recommend search for Wireframe in your podcast player. And don't you worry, we will also include a link in the show notes. Thank you so much to Wireframe for their support. Okay, so what else does Henny help you with? Henny helps me do everything, honestly. Thank God. He's so good. Like, he's more business-minded than I am. Thank Mm -hmm. God. Like, I know how to, like, be creative and come up with ideas and have a great personality and presence and captivate an audience Mm -hmm. like I know how to do that I know how to make a TikTok I know how to do that Mm -hmm. and he's more like on the back end he's like okay we have on Mondays he'll sit down and write the list for the week and we have like yes he does he slays you have no idea so we go through the days we go through whatever and like every day we have one at the top of the day so we can get everything done because we honestly I have a lot of work that I do and thank god like he helps me with all that so he's like essentially like chief operations officer yeah he slays okay what do you mean lists at the top of the week of the week and then lists at the beginning of the day like lists of personal things we need to accomplish for the channel for whatever then Mm -hmm. branded things scheduled things when they're due when the go live date is when we need to submit them when this is getting edited Mm -hmm. when that's gonna like the whole thing so it's really like planned out essentially wow see i feel like this is the stuff people don't know about yeah because i I feel like it's not assumed Mm mm-hmm but you have to or else you can't get uh, you get, can't get your shit yeah, up. No. Do you uh, follow a specific schedule? I can't. I feel like with what we do, you can't I can't either. You can't have anything that's concrete because mm-hmm. everything is so whenever the world decides. Not the world, you know what I mean? Things mm-hmm. just come into our inbox and then we have a certain amount of time for everything. Nothing is solid. Like mm-hmm. there's no like industry standard of what turnarounds look like or what whatever like it's all case by case Mm. so that's why when planning things out i feel like everybody like on this like field it gets it Mm -hmm. it's like you can't make anything constant it's it's really hard to schedule stuff i feel like even if when i do it's always getting moved yes or like you schedule something best intentions or like book something and it's Mm -hmm. like you know that's a 50 50 chance it happens yeah it's crazy like i feel like this is one of the very few jobs you get an email and the next day it's like okay can you go to korea tomorrow for blah 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 and it's like dead ass dead ass (laughs) yeah like can i i I guess have to move everything else but it's fine like that's how the world works yeah Mm -hmm. showbiz baby showbiz what would you say i know you kind of like explained your strength but can you elaborate more like what what do you mean captivating an audience or like being in front of the camera? Like what would what truly are your strengths? I mean, I feel like since I've been doing this for so long, like I literally have been on the Internet since I was like 15 years old or 16 mm-hmm. years old. 
So I feel like I've just been doing it for so long that I know how to stay connected with an audience because I don't view it as like numbers. Like it's literally real people. Mm -hmm. And like I know how to speak to them. I you're, guess. That's, you're so good at that. Yay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I, I think like, I mean, I watch so much content. I'm literally on my phone all day long watching, 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 consuming, consuming, consuming. Mm -hmm. So I just know, I guess, how to do it. I don't mm -hmm. know. You know what I mean? Yes. Who do you watch? Everybody, weird shit, everything, top to bottom. I watch mm -hmm. everything and everyone all of the time. I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm obsessed. With, I am too. Yeah, it's bad. But like, I love it. Mainly YouTube or TikTok or what? YouTube and TikTok and podcasts yeah i consume all day long i if i'm cleaning if i'm waking up mm -hmm. if i'm making coffee i need something streaming me too background noise yeah and then i like slightly i'm like what did they say rewind yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's like it's so meta <laughs> it's so meta of us i will say though like the times where i'm alicia and i always say this when we're really invested in like a youtuber or just watching youtube in general that's when we're like uploading like crazy inspired excited to film like it's inspiring yeah it's inspiring and it's like like literally the other day i wasn't like posting on tiktok for i don't even know whatever reason just i was worrying about other platforms whatever and then ashley who you met at dinner the other uh -huh. night who's like not an influencer at all started daily vlogging on tiktok randomly for funsies uh -huh. i don't know if it's like competitiveness or like just like group mentality but like i started making fucking tiktoks Hell i was yeah. like let's go uh -huh. like you know what i mean i don't know it's cool seeing people and then you want to like be a part of it it's totally so well, it's, meta <laughs> it's kind of like the same thing though as like a workout buddy like it's fun to have someone who's like hold you accountable you're like fork if they could do that and i know they're busy and i know their schedule like i can make it work too yeah i would and say it's like fun it's like fun it to is. join in on making like stuff it's just more fun to do it together yeah yeah so um when you're coming up with ideas for videos or do you ever have like brainstorm sessions and you're like oh okay i want to do like a haul this day or i want this to be more fashiony like or is it really like flying by the seat of your pants i don't plan because like honestly whatever is happening in my life i'll use that and like package that mm -hmm. and like I'll, I'll know it's coming up and like like ugh, i don't know a good example but like if i know i'm doing something it's just like i'll know it's happening and then i'll think of how i could package it if i know my sister's coming into town for example it's like okay I, mean, I, I took my sister on a shopping spree. I'm probably going to take her shopping anyways, but now, boom, we can. Cute. You know what okay. I mean? Because like, I like to keep it. I don't like to do things for YouTube because mm -hmm. then it, it feels it's not. It's inauthentic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like you, you could tell that like watching the video, it's like you went out of your way for this. Like mm -hmm. that's like, cringy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I try not to go out of my way to make any content. Mm -hmm. So that way I could just package it in a way that seems like a concept so that like it's intriguing to somebody mm -hmm. who's not just like going to watch essentially like vlog one, vlog two, vlog three, vlog four. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's definitely says a lot about your community because you do do stuff that actually interests you. And if you find it interesting, you're interesting. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I feel like anything that's forced is like weird. Mm -hmm. And like the people that we probably have similar demographics, honestly, but my demographic is 98% female on yeah. YouTube. 98 I so think mine's like, like 96 or something. Same shit. Probably. It's, like, yeah. it's the best though. It is the best. You're just talking to girls. It's like easy, you mm -hmm. know? I know. That's the worst is when like I know you're cuffed up, but when I am going on dates and I know there's going to be like the 1% guy that watches my Ooh. shit, I'm like, this is for the girls and the gays. But do Get you think out of that, I, don't, I doubt that they would like watch you before, but then they probably match with you or however you found them. And then they, do you think they like watch it before the date? Oh, I know they do. They, I've been told. What do they say? it's just weird but like what do they say well one guy was really weird <laughs> like what did he say dk <laughs> he was like he sat down we like sit down for a dinner or a uh, drinks or something and he was like i'm on a date with an influencer he like immediately I'm said sorry, that dry i would have been so dry i was like oh. no and then he was like you're really funny like i watched a few of your videos like blah blah blah, blah. and i was like yeah that's like not but and then he made he made a comment because i was doing a skincare brand and i was talking about my acne and then he made a comment about acne and i was like ah, i don't like this it was weird ew did he pay at least <laughs> yeah he did thank god know. something about it just felt like 
of course we put our lives on the internet. It just felt a little invasive in a weird way. I mean, it's a date. Or just don't tell me that you it's watched like it. Weird. Do you? It's just like, do you have no game at all? <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. I'm like, of course you're going to watch, but don't tell me maybe. That's weird. No, like if you're going to go on a date, it's fine to like watch a little before. That's fine. Everybody's like, Everyone's I'm assuming gonna stalk. if you're going on a date, you're going to stalk on Instagram. Totally. And if there's a YouTube account, you're not going to be shy from like, oh, that's mm-hmm. her personal space. Like, let's be real, you know? Yeah. But like to say I'm on a date with an influencer, like that's so, so cringy. Weird. I know. TK. Oh my god. I know. And I like couldn't even imagine being like, I mean, I'm like small. I can't imagine being a like, massive like celebrity influencer person. Whatever. I, I don't. Like know. That's it's, why it's like, hard the to date. Big YouTubers always go for celebrities. Yeah, they have to. I feel like. Yeah. I know. Anyway, Isn't it funny that like I feel like in the older. LA days like let's say five years ago like all the influencers were trying to hang out with celebrities yeah and now all the celebrities are trying, trying to, to hang, hang out, out with influencers. influencers that's so true yeah no literally because they want their shit to pop off uh-huh well and now like it, especially musicians like you have to have a presence on TikTok if you want your song to pop off yeah so they're like strategically hanging out with these teeny boppers that's so true mm-hmm. that's weird have you ever been asked to promote a song yeah Literally. And then I've also been paid to promote songs. It's mm-hmm. the best because you just put the track and like do nothing. I know. Literally. Oh my God. These TikTokers that I forgot that they can probably make brand deals like just with you th- using the songs. I think that's where they make a lot. Oh, slay. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I need to learn how to dance. <laughs> I know. It's a <laughs> renegade. Literally. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to go back to your relationship with Henny and working together. How did that come to fruition? Like, was that not weird at the beginning? It was so organic like we how did it start we I I was like living in the same apartment building as him and I was like making like I want to say like a video a month like not taking it seriously really? yeah it was like I wasn't making videos at all and he was like oh like he basically just like gave me confidence and like you could do this Hot. which was like so sexy love, love. That. love that so he's like yeah you could do this blah, blah, blah. I'm like okay yeah I can yeah and then like I just like started doing it and now i don't know it it happened organically because we he i don't know we just like work work together well was he like i'll help you edit yeah wow and then do you ever get is it like ever hard to work with your significant other like do you ever fight or like yeah we fight what do you do when you get into arguments because that's inevitable i am i like to handle things on the spot i like to be like let's sit down and talk about it let's move on let's figure it out immediately and get it done so we can move on because i don't like awkward energy Mm -hmm. like that shit freaks me out i can't enjoy my day if we're like passive aggressively like ew no we have to literally sit down get to the bottom of this move on like address it like Mm -hmm. let's go like Bamanos. And Mm -hmm. he's very like slow paced, like, oh, I just needs to marinate. Needs to marinate. Mm. Usually takes him a whole night so he can like go to bed and wake up new. Uh, but I don't believe in that. And you don't want to go to bed like yes. Feeling weird. That's the worst. Literally, literally, and it's the dumbest things too. But I don't know. Are you you like to hash it out on the spot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Cause what how, do you sleep well at night if you're like fighting with somebody? No, I can't sleep. Yeah. I can't sleep. Yes. Mm-hmm. But it's I I will say it's like it's the best thing when you're a YouTuber person to have someone in your circle that's helping you work because it's such a invasive job and it's so personal. But it's also really hard when you do don't see when you don't see eye to eye or it's like I can't imagine like a romantic relationship when you're trying to like now be romantic and you just like fought at work. How do you manage that? I mean, sometimes it's weird, but, like, we've been doing it for so long that, like, we kind of know the drill. I will say you guys do it, it seems effortlessly. Like, you do it really well. Thank you. I mean, there's effort. Yeah. (laughs) But it's, I don't know, it's not, it doesn't, we don't take it that seriously. Like, we're not, we don't care about metrics. And it took us a long time to get to this point. But, like, we used to literally upload this, like, year one and year two of, like, working together and doing it together. We used to upload a video on the channel and, like, sit there and refresh it all day. And see how many views it was getting, see how it was performing, see, like, you know, when the studio mm-hmm. on the back end says, like, whatever, out of 10. Yeah. We would stalk that, obsess over that. And, like, we finally, I don't know what clicked in us, we stopped. And, like, we, like, whatever happens, happens. Once the video is live, it's live. And we can continue with our lives, mm-hmm. with our day, and, like, keep it stepping, keep it moving, and, like, not be hindered by all that. And that was a pivotal moment for us because it was, like, whatever. That's great. It really helped separate, like, 
life and meta mm-hmm. if you're not sitting there like was it a good video if it doesn't do good on the hour like it's like that's lame mm-hmm. you know what i mean and it's going to make the content lame if like that's how you're going into it so we've yeah we both got out of that and i think th- after we got out of that like once we're not so data driven whatever we can just be creative mm-hmm I I think that's so good that you guys do that. It's probably best for your mental health. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Honestly. Um, so how did you come up with your iconic 12330 concept? I used to be so intimidated by the gym. And like I would see, I, I mean, I lived in LA and everybody has this like crazy body and everybody's uh-huh. lifting all this weight and all these girls are doing like crazy workouts with all these crazy trainers. And it just seemed like so intimidating i wouldn't even want to go step it's foot a lot. in the gym it's a lot it's and like, the classes like they're really hard sometimes they're hard i literally had an equinox membership at equinox hollywood and i would get a smoothie and like walk around in like steam room and be like i gotta go like, it's this like is... cosplaying <sighs> an la gym girl like sometimes like yes. you're like wait is this even me <laughs> yes so i was playing around on the treadmill on the settings and it took me a while to figure out what i like mm-hmm but it took like, I don't know, a couple weeks, a couple months, whatever. But I was playing different nomenclature, different like combos. And I just liked 12 incline, three mm-hmm. speed for 30 minutes. I just liked it. And then the more that I did it, I became literally addicted to it. Like addicted to that. Because I noticed my body started changing. I noticed I started feeling good. And I loved the idea of not having steps to a workout. Mm. Just like one. Like a one and done, and done main thing. And like move on no mental thing you don't have to think about anything mm-hmm. when you do 12 through 30 and you can get other shit done like you can yeah. watch it you can watch a show you can sometimes like i'll do like emails yeah. or whatever i mean i was literally at my friend's apartment a couple of days ago and i the girl next to me was doing 12 through 30 reading her script i was like Saleh. um but yeah you could do so many things and i just love it i love that you don't have to think about it i love that you can hop on and just do it and i was posting about it on my youtube channel for years mm-hmm. and i don't think anybody ever fucking noticed or tried or like i know a couple of girls would do it and would tell me like i've had an amazing experience like i feel so much more confident with my body blah 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 and then i posted that tiktok like that green screen tiktok mm-hmm. And it took off like the uh, the Victoria's Secret model models started doing it. Kylie started doing it. Everybody started. doing it. I remember it. when Kylie posted it. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> James Charles posted it and was like, I'm doing this treadmill workout. 12, 3, 30, da, 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 didn't give me credit. Uh-huh. And everybody starts DMing it to me. And I think I might have, I don't know if I DM'd him or not, but then the next day he like gave me credit. Oh, <laughs> yay. I feel like everyone knows it as 12, 3, 30, but I'm literally like, this is Lauren's like <laughs> idea. Like this is crazy. Yeah, it's good. It's a good workout. It's a good ass workout. It's kind of all it's hard. you need. It's hard, but it's all you need. Yeah. That's why I like it. It's hard, efficient. You can get so much done in 30 minutes and it freaking works. Yeah. And it's like, I know runners has a thing Mm -hmm. and I've experienced that. Like I remember I don't run, but I remember one time I decided to and after I was like, whoo, my God, it felt like Uh a joint. (laughs) Sometimes after 12, 330, sometimes very rarely I'll get that runner's high, Uh but it's not frequent but or it's it does, while you're doing it too yeah. you're like you just go into like a different zone yeah because it's mindless mm-hmm. so it's just like a flow state mm-hmm. i love it i love it i love it so did you decide when you made the tiktok did you do have any idea like no that would pick up the way it did no and then after that were you like shit do i need to make this a thing i mean i i already had but yeah. I, I think like it was that tiktok because like i had other tiktoks about it i had youtube videos mm-hmm. about it i had been doing it for years and then once that tiktok went viral then i guess everybody else started doing it too mm-hmm. <laughs> like it wasn't just me well when did you make the instagram account for it i made that account i want to say like six months ago oh okay. like seven months ago yeah i feel like that's such a good account yeah thank you it's good i'm it's doing nice. an in-person hawker walk on october 15 in new york everyone go to it so if you live in new york and you want to walk and make friends and have a good time and get the blood pump and let's go I don't Th- know where it is yet, but I'll that'll be know. so fun. Yeah, follow Lauren so you can figure out where It'll to be go. Fun. If you if you are in New York, I will so Didn't be there. Did you say I that mean, you might be there? I might be. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Which I would love that. Mm-hmm. I love going on a hot girl walk. Speaking of hot girl walks, do you go outside to walk ever, or is the treadmill your thing? The treadmill is my thing. I, mm-hmm. I wish I loved walking around like places, but I don't. Yeah, I do feel like I don't. Mm-hmm. I like AC. <laughs> I get it. You know, also, and I like, like inclines. <laughs> I, yeah, it gets the booty going. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know. I, I also live in Arizona. It's like a thousand degrees. That's so true. So I can't think of it right now. But yeah, once it cools down, I'll probably mm-hmm. put, put a little pep in my step. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what do you do most of the time when you're on the treadmill? Are you watching shows? Or are you? I'm consuming everything. Okay. Uh, like 
anything not tiktok i can't i can't sit there and scroll on the treadmill i'm bouncing around Mm -hmm. you know what i mean i love the hands-free of youtube yeah you just put it up and podcast youtube podcast uh yeah Mm -hmm. it's the best well you just came out with merch for 12 3 32 yes so what's your like do you have a game plan at all with like what you want to do with this? Because didn't you get the trademark? I got the trademark. Dude, congrats. That's awesome. Thank you. It took so long and it took a lot of money. Oh that shit's crazy. Wait, how much it, money? It was like 12 grand. Shut I, the fork up. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, yeah. Oh my God. Why? I don't know. I literally don't know. I'm like, it's three numbers. But like, I guess it's like. Okay. So now that you have 12, 330 is, or you had the trademark, mm-hmm. is that why you could make merch? Um, no, I could have made it the whole time with the merch. I just, I've never made merch before. Mm-hmm. And I was always like weird about making merch because I always thought it was like lame. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I have my own like apprehensions for stuff because it's a fear, a fear of failure thing. Uh-huh. Cause I'm like, God forbid we print X amount of hoodies and like half of them sell. Like I will hate my life. A huge fear of failure thing. Uh-huh. The collection sold out. Slay, slay, slay. slay. But, um, now like with that. That the merch is just the merch, but it was more of like to get data, like how many units can I sell, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, because now because it's a shot in the dark, I guess, mm-hmm. if you don't have like finite data. So now I have, okay, at least I know to who and how many I'm selling, which is great. And for 12, 330, I mean, I see it going everywhere and anywhere. It's like such a good lifestyle moment. It's I can see a it being a million things. Yeah, fully. Uh-huh. And it's like it has like the emotional connection with the people that do it which Uh is so fucking cool because it's like yo that shit has changed people's lives and it could be anything it could be at leisure it could be whatever i don't know what it's gonna end up being but i just know i'm gonna keep keep on keeping on and Mm -hmm. it will be something sick one day do you have like any type of crazy goal or thing you'd like to do one day i mean i know this hot girl walk is like obviously an epic thing that you're gonna do it's the first time you're doing it Mm -hmm. right so I love that, but is there anything else like that you're wanting to pursue with twelve three thirty? I want it to be like a big brand, uh-huh. like a big, dope, cool girl, high quality brand that's like no, I sold see that. in huge stores and like a thing. So do you want it? Um, are you talking about like active wear, like clothes to wear while you're doing I it? I see that for it. Mm-hmm. I see that for it. Mm-hmm. But I think it's a little obvious. I think it could be something cooler. I don't know. I know. I'm almost trying to picture like not necessarily a workout class but like i'm like could i see it with like treadmills and then you activate like small weights with it or something i don't know that would be sick i think it'd be sick i just don't live in a place that's like popping enough Mm because arizona i don't know because it's like big or whatever but i think it'd be cool to do like all female gyms (gasps) like small all female gyms treadmills steam rooms saunas and like just Girls and gays, actually. Girls and gays. <laughs> Girls I don't know if that's, like, discriminat- discriminatory, though, because, like, how do you prove if you're gay? Yeah, true. You know what I mean? What if somebody true, wants to bring their boyfriend? Creepy. And it's, like, you can't oh. say, like, only girls and gays. It's, like, yeah. horrible. You, like, get canceled for it. But, like, I'm not in a perfect world. In a perfect world. That is, that's interesting. Well, I mean, it's kind of, like, the same idea as, like, hot Pilates, for instance. Like, mostly girls and gays go to that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So maybe if it's just, like... A, you just brand it super girly like guys aren't gonna want to go anyway I agree. they're gonna think it's like what do the guys say fruity or whatever they yeah. say yeah <laughs> they, they're like scared of it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. make them as scared as possible yeah. just like blare like girly music or like we can write on text on like the walls like no weights needed yeah the guys are like i ain't stepping foot in there <laughs> or just don't have weight like big weights yeah only have like two Dainties. pounds yeah <laughs> they'll never want to go stones yeah that's that actually a good idea that'd be cute and girls would love it yeah Okay, we're on to something here. Yeah. I see twelve three thirty dead ass as like not I I don't know why, but like poosh came to mind, but not poosh, but like that elevated, like next level. Everyone knows everyone already does know about it, but like somewhere I'm like I'm really trying to make you more money here. Thank with twelve three thirty. Yeah. Money moves. <laughs> you can yeah, you can totally do that. Though. I know, I know, I know. I'm I'm working on it. Uh-huh. Well, speaking of money, where do you feel like your money is best spent. Like, what's the best money you've spent on for your business? Ooh, I'm like paying honey. <laughs> best money I've spent on your my sister. business. Camera. Best money I've spent on my business. My therapy bill. Okay. Seriously, I go to like an expensive one. Wait, explain. I don't know. He he is expensive, and he's different. He's not like other ones okay. he's like more he's like, like other woo, therapists like woo woo yeah he's more like um, psychic uh, <laughs> not psychic but like um you know like vibes vibrations like that okay fun i can do that mm-hmm. so it's good it's expensive it's good i feel like we get each other 
And I feel like I need that in order to do a job that's so forward facing. Mm -hmm. Cause like, it's weird. It's very weird what we do. You have to be extremely mentally tough. Yeah, and it's just like a weird concept. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like we like sit there and like film ourselves and like. It is so weird. Yeah. So you need to like touch grass, you know, Mm -hmm. all that stuff. (laughs) So is this, are you meeting me through therapist via Zoom or in person? Via call, thank God. I don't want to like look. Oh, via call? Yeah, like just voice. And then I like can be in my car and like do weird. um, I like to. That's cool. Yeah. And um, I'm like, so what are you talking about in therapy? No, I'm kidding. (laughs) (laughs) But like in regards to work, like are you working through like, oh, like this particular comment is getting to me or like i don't know is it is it a lot about work um it's not like comments that get to me but i guess something that i've learned through like putting time into it has been like who it's it doesn't matter what you do it matters who you're being so like that's why i feel i don't know empowered to make random videos because i'm like whatever it doesn't matter what i film if i'm you know if i'm the best version of myself if i show up to that video Love. and i'm like i'm excited and i'm engaged and i'm not like that engaged just like <laughs> just, like just an excuse to show yeah. it yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but if like i show up and i'm you know i i the what i've had to do is like really focus on the why i make my content because if not it could feel like a treadmill mm-hmm. you know what i mean like just like more Literally. things that have to get done and done and done mm-hmm. it's like never ending you know, when it feels kind of pointless. Mm. But if you attach like a why and then you like, what's, what is the mission? Why do I do what I Mm -hmm. do? It's like, well, cause I want to connect and I want to inspire and I, I want to, you know, provide, like, I understand what it's like to watch videos cause I feel lonely Mm. cause I do that every day. Mm Mm-hmm. So if understanding that you're that for somebody, it gives it a purpose. It gives it a reason. It's less like I'm posting this to get views and to get that yeah. bag because like that's not sustainable. Everybody's mm-hmm. going to get burnt out that way. So therapy. It's more fulfilling. Yeah. Wow. That's really good, Lauren. Thanks. I'm like shocked right now. OK, so you talk about that when you're like you're how to embrace being your highest, the highest version of yourself. Yeah. OK. Interesting. I love that. Um, what do you feel like you spend too much money on? Oh, I am going through this like financial cleanse at the moment Oh, where I'm into savings mode. I'm like truly, truly embracing savings mode. Okay. Because I'm, yeah, I was spending money on stupid shit. Like what? And not, not terrible, but like, I don't know, just like lots of eating out, lots of unnecessary travel, lots of just random things that lead to nothing and are not investments. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to shift that currently, or I am shifting that currently, and it's more investment based now rather than like just swiping the Amex because it's gonna go through every yeah. time. Yeah, how you know? are you like shifting it though? Like, are you doing like little practical like tips and tricks, or just like being aware of every dollar? Mm-hmm. Because that's not somebody I want to be, and that's not who I want to align myself. Like those values. Like I've gone through little phases where you're not aware of every dollar. Mm-hmm. It's a mindset thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you just like aimlessly swipe and that's fine. Like if you can afford it, like that's fine. But even if you can afford it, I think like the next level and like boss bitch womanhood is being on top and aware and just like being aware of every dollar. Yeah. The first thing is being aware. Yeah. I think. And like act. Are you actively checking your bank account? Yeah. How I check often? My, I mean, not the account, but I check my Amex statements. More. Oh, yeah. yeah your yeah. statements. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're a true Amex. You love the Amex, I don't do. you? <laughs> I do. So silver and cute. That's so silver, so cute. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about taking risks. Okay. What do you feel like has been your biggest risk you've taken in regards to like your career? Oh, God. I feel like everything I do is a fucking risk. Not really. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I've taken so many. I've had a long career. Like, I've been doing this for years. So, like, I don't know how much you research, but, like, I've had some years in there that were super questionable. Like, I had a full-blown music career. No, I saw it. I was, like, <laughs> more insane. I was in, like, a Netflix movie. I No, but, but it makes so much sense because randomly you'll sing in your videos. I'm like, she's kind of good. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I, I've done things. I've done, like, a Netflix movie. I did uh, that. I've done, like, weird, like, shows before. I've done multiple things. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the riskiest one was kind of like uh, what was the riskiest thing I've done I don't know the riskiest things I've done 
weren't career risks. They were just like personal risks. Oh, like what? I don't know. Like when I was like, when I first moved here, like just like crazy shit. That's a big risk even moving yeah. here. Like yeah. when you're that young. How are you? How old were you? 17. Oh, that's crazy. Like getting in random Ubers, getting random people's cars, like being out till four in the morning, like just psycho things. Mm-hmm. Like truly psychotic. Like thank God I deleted Snapchat, but I think I downloaded it for whatever reason the other day and I went through my memories and that really holds everything. It's cra- They save everything. Yeah. Snapchat. You mm-hmm. can just scroll back. You can literally scroll to 2016 Snapchat. and see it all. And I was a hottie, hot mess, hot mess. But like, I don't know. I went through that. And mm-hmm. that was like the riskiest thing I've done. Okay. And then uh, what about buying your house? That was, oh, that was such good timing. I feel so lucky about that because that was like right before, it was like right at the start of the panty. Mm-hmm. So I got it at a good time. Thank also, God. Also, it was perfect, I feel like, for your YouTube career too, like- did you grow a lot then? Grow? Grow like your channel. Oh, I don't know. I'm like height. I don't know. <laughs> I, I was like grow. I don't know. <laughs> because I feel like I, I don't know. I mean, I wasn't paying attention to your analytics by any means. <laughs> but like I felt like I was so in tune specifically during that time with your channel because or that's what really like got me reintroduced to you as a viewer because you were like moving and I was like so excited for you. I was like, where is she moving? What type of furniture is she going to get? Like, how is she going to decorate this? Like, whole new era. Yeah. Like, it like got people, at least me, like reinvested in you. I like that stuff. I mean, I like watching content like that too. Like, Chris Clemens just bought his house mm-hmm. in wherever he bought it. Delaware, Delaware, I think. And I love that yeah. vlog content too. And it's I was so watching his watching channel either move. too before. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's like setting up their lives and talking about it. I love that type of content. Yeah. Should I move? I, <laughs> I think it's just like re- re-inspiring for yeah. people like it's like a fresh new chapter like kinda? my family in new york yes I loved ate it up love i love her new york wow if content. we never know what to film we could just move forever move reinvent yourself go yeah. have a baby oh no <laughs> <laughs> i'm dead would you ever show your kids on camera i don't we literally also talked about this on uh with alicia i there's a way to do it i think that's tasteful I think Desi Perkins does that rep well. Oh, yeah. I agree. Yeah. She's slays. Yeah. Okay. I want to play a game. It's called Slay or Nay. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of like in or out. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? On TikTok. Yeah. So we're going to go through some things and you just tell me if it slays or nays. Okay. Okay. First things first. Overlining your lips. Slay. Slay? Yeah. Slay. Okay. I'm going to say... Nay, but that's because I don't I don't use lip liner. But like I, pe- you like are really good at using lip liner. I'm awful at using lip liner. The the way to make it good is like you know your cupid's bow. Uh-huh. Just round that out. Oh, on that's the top. So hot. Okay. And the way to make it good is to get a brown liner and just line, and then do gloss. Gloss and just mush it all in there because then it doesn't look. I should try that. You know what? I'll do a TikTok. I'll be like trying Lauren Geraldo's iconic lip combo. Yes. Or you could like upload this and like stitch it. Like yeah. trying it. And then I'll stitch, stitch the stitch. And then you'll do edit. Yeah. Lilo and stitch, bitch. Lilo <laughs> and stitch that bitch. Okay. Um, loafers. Slay or nay? Slay. I'm thinking slay too. I also like them, even though they're trendy right now. Like I feel like they're a classic thing to have in your yeah. wardrobe. I think now we're like introduced to them. And mm-hmm. We're going to keep them around. Crop tops. Slay, unfortunately. I'm saying nay. Ugh, really? I just think they're like the micro crop, whatever is like as a trend. I think it's going out. It is going out because now it's like the uh, we we were Y2K and now we're going into Tumblr era, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. So that's the like t-shirts. Yeah. I even feel like a nice like button down is like in yeah. like a, or a blouse. Maybe it's just because I'm getting older, like more mature dressing my age it's definitely funny seeing like the teeny boppers in their crop tops because then you're like you get it like if yeah. when i see a group of teeny boppers on the street and they're all in their little crops i'm like I i'm get like it. i can i can do better than that yeah i'm of age yeah yeah it's not a bad thing no yeah it's like i still love a crop top Duh. yeah it's like okay. half of my closet it's so embarrassing like if i go into my closet all the shirts are like three inches long no one time it was so funny last year when we went to indiana we had to go to this like fundraiser event because oh. a bunch of the like town was going to be there and literally alicia and ashley were like and i were like what do we wear like we don't have like a full length top yeah and i was like how do we my mom's like that's not appropriate i'm like I don't, I don't, I am not appropriate. Like, I'm not. She's like, you need something a little more conservative. I'm like, I, that's not in me. Yeah. No, but now it's like, we can, we can do it. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're at that age where yeah. we should own a full length top. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, the fluffy brows. 
I think they're in. I love them. I have them now. I slay. Yeah. Slay. Your brows look so good. Thank you. Okay. I can't stop looking Anastasia at them. Anastasia brow is. Oh, really? Anastasia brow gel. I'm a benefit girl. Maybe I should try Benefit's that. Benefit's also good. I love Benefit. Okay. Kylie Jenner. Uh, Slay. I love her. I think right now Slay for sure. Yeah. People have a lot to say about everybody. Every I love her. Mm-hmm. Did you see her um, shoot she did yesterday? Yeah. Did you see the TikTok of the girl that green screened it and like gave all the commentary? No, but I just did one of those last night. I'm going to upload it. Why? Oh. What was it? She was saying that it felt kind of somber, but she loved it. But like there was like a certain oh, undertone of somberness. And I kind of saw that, you know? See, I saw it the opposite way. I was like, she's embracing, like pulling back the roots. Yeah. Like I felt like in her King Hi- Kylie era, she was just being her and like so effortlessly cool, like original herself. And then for a second, I think just like the rest of us got caught up, like what's cool? How do I be ahead of it? And instead of just like doing what she thinks is cool. And yeah. like now I feel like she's like, I did that and I'm, I'm going to do it again. Yeah. That's the vibe I got. Yeah. I love her. I don't know. Me trying to like break down her psychology. Cover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her cover. Um, The clean girl aesthetic. Slay or nay? Slay if you're like naturally gorgeous, but I feel like it's exclusionary. You know what I mean? Because like sometimes I'm like going for that clean girl look and I look in the mirror and I just feel ugly. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, the clean girl aesthetic. But yeah, we have to like look like that. You it's know? A, I feel like it does... If you effortlessly have that look, obviously that's so easy, but Yeah, so you so by clean girl you mean like effortlessly naturally hot. I know. Like of course that's fucking in. That's but like true. it's not attainable. I guess maybe I'll go nay. Yeah, nay. Nay. We like dirty girls. Dirty. Okay, hot girl walks. <laughs> in. Or slay. slay. Sorry. No, it's okay, slay. Nail art? Uh nay. I'm gonna say nay for the moment. Yeah. I'm not really into like the I, I definitely had a moment or like a year or two where I loved it, but I, not right now. I'm trying to just do plain. I don't want to take the time to sit there, but I saw this TikTok. I'm sure you've seen it. It's like this girl gets press-ons and gel X's it on top. And she says it's like the best thing ever. Now everybody's doing it. You get a press-on and they come with these beautiful modern designs. Because like remember when press-ons used to be chuggy, like the designs yeah. were like heinous. These days, I don't know if you've been into like a CVS and seen press ons. They're stunning. Dude, like, press ons are so slept on, I feel yeah, like. Or not anymore, but they were. Yeah, she literally like gel X's them on and they stay forever. Press on, slay. Yeah, slay. Okay, TikTok. Slay. Yeah. I'm going to say slay too. Um, I am Gia. I know you have your opinions on I am Gia. Nay. Really? They used to be everything, but like, I think we're too old for it. Maybe that's Maybe what that's it is. It. Unless I go to Vegas. Unless you go to Vegas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's life hack. <laughs> yeah. You just get older and yeah. then you can't wear the IMG stuff you anymore. You can only be Gia in Las Vegas because what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. You, yeah, you can only be Gia in Las Vegas. <laughs> Fully. <laughs> that is so true because it's like, where else am I going to be Gia? I mean, not like your local like work function. Like, yeah. yeah, work. work? No. no. <laughs> You can't be Gia like in midday. No, I mean you can if you like live Gia's in LA. Gia's like a one AM thing. Yeah, Gia's like a hangover girl. Yeah, like, Gia's grungy. Gia's, Gia's gambling. Gia's dirty. <laughs> Gia has like black under her fingernails, and she's like hot about it. Gia is at Zook nightclub. Yeah, at, in resorts world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gia, yeah, Gia. Gia's, Gia is Gia. Gia is at the club. Okay. Anyway, and then I know your sweater is cold, Gaia. Yes, Slayer Net. Slay. I think Slay too. They're the only ones doing anything interesting in purses these days. Mm-hmm. Like their purses are like fine. true. Yeah, the little like uh dangly, sparkly. Yeah, that and like so good. They have a mil- a million other amazing purses, and mm-hmm. they're like you know they're not like crazy expensive like Prada and Dior and all that shit. Like I'm not into designer anymore. Mm-hmm. Like that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, neither am I. It's really. like it's chuggy. I think. Mm-hmm. But if you get like a cool brand that's like still upper, you know, like Colt Guy by no means is like fast fashion. Well, dare I say it, is Colt Gaia like the mid upper 20s IMGA? Yeah. It's like yeah. still funky. It's pushing the limits, but it's a little more mature. But we have more money now because we're older. We have jobs. You we, can afford it. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Their uh-huh. dresses are stunning. Like, it's funky. The occasions that they make the dresses for are like classy events. Like their dresses go to the floor. 100%. And they're like fancy material. Like, 
It's IMG for what is, we're go- doing, what yeah, we're going to. Yes. Weddings. Oh, God, we're getting old. IMG is just as our literal, tiny little, like, dainty, like... Vegas. Get into the club. Yeah. yeah. It's going to get taken off. But we all have every <laughs> mood in us at all times, so maybe we need both. You do. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, do you have, like, a... This is embarrassing. Do you have an IMG archive low-key in your closet? Yeah, I mean, I have the iconic pink and black, like, lace-up leather pants. Yeah, I have them. You know, so hot and i'll I never get rid red. of those yeah. though no they're great um i do have a bunch of tops i have like a mini skirt i have a matching top i've never worn the mini skirt though perfect because then by the time you wear it, it's gonna be so much in the future that nobody's gonna remember it's from img true those are my favorite pieces. i will say though believe it or not the fit is really good at yeah. IMGA. Yeah, it's like, good. I, it always slays. And I'm mean, like a true medium. It always makes me feel hot. And it always makes your boobs look good. That and House of CB. What the hell? What's House, House of CB, CB putting in their shit? I don't know. But it's they, literally drugs. Like, they know how to slay a body. It's crazy. Anything corset, anything whatever. The only thing that I have with them, my only gripe with them, is my nipples fall out sometimes of their shit. I, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But besides that, mm-hmm. like it's giving hourglass. It doesn't matter what it is. It's crazy. On every body type. Yes. Yes. I've never had anything fit better in my life than a House of CB um, corset or top. Yep. Or dress. And it feels, because it is a little bit more pricey, it feels so worth it. Yeah. When you buy it. Because you actually look good. Oh, a million percent. And you feel good. Yeah. And also, it's not like cheap. It's like double lined. The material and fabric is like thick and juicy and squeezy squeezes you in the right place like i feel like they really think about the, their customer and like the customer's confidence mm-hmm. and you can wash it it won't yeah it's the perfect honestly uh, that's one of my favorite brands yeah House of CB. i like it too because it's like it is baddie vibes mm-hmm. but classy baddie yes. vibes literally yeah because it's like it's still giving cleavage it's still like showing a figure but it's it's not mm-hmm. trashy they also have some that are like more on like the vegas c like let's be really the balls mr balls. rocks ones yeah yeah, yeah yeah and but then they also have like really classy like can wear to a wedding yeah. like freaking gorgeous stuff i've seen girls that get it on pr like i know sierra ramirez gets it on pr because i follow her she thinks and she wore it on a carpet she wore it on a yeah, red people carpet wear it on carpets all the and time. she looked beautiful yeah yeah the girl that started that is like a beast yeah wait who is she um she's sick there i've listened to a podcast that she's been on she i don't remember her name um but i'll send you the podcast she was on she basically started it in london and now they have i think businesses or i think they're factory or something might be in LA oh cool or something and yeah they're basically once they moved to the US because it, it was like the it girl brand in London that and in sense. the UK mm-hmm. and then when it came to the US that's when their sky uh, or their business like skyrocketed so they don't make their clothes in random factories I don't think believe around so. the world that's great mm-hmm. cool but that's I think why it's like a higher price yeah. point um but it's so worth it yeah. and like I think that the girl who started it is really she has a good like head on her shoulders and like wants women to feel confident anyway lauren where can everyone follow you everyone you can follow me at lauren geraldo on everything 12 3 30 oh yeah at 12 3 30 and can they buy m- merch anymore no stop it's all sold out yeah we're gonna do another round yeah oh thank god so yeah I, yeah Okay, so stay tuned for that. Follow 12330. Tag her in your stories, your TikToks. If you do 12330, it's amazing. And also check out her YouTube channel. It's like one of my favorite things ever. Guilty this was pleasure. Fun, TK. <gasps> Thank you so much for sharing your tips and tricks and knowledge. It's I a love privilege this. getting Thanks. to be in your presence. Follow her and be sure to make someone's day this week. Peace. Bye.